You're going to look right at a red flashing light. Stay right there. We're just lining everything up. Okay. So we're registering the eye in the dilated form from the image in the pre-dilated form using scleral vessel and iris registration. All right, let's go ahead and add the patient interface. Excellent, another drop, artificial tears. Okay, now once again, I'm gonna want you to look at that little red flashing light. That's excellent. Just stare right at that red light. Very, very good, very good. Just stay right there. Excellent, suction. I like that very much. Now we're going to go ahead and go to uh, iris registration. So we're just engaged the guidance system. And it's comparing the registered images once again using iris and scleral vessel registration. And we've aligned and we've got successful registration. Now this is using the new matrix uh, cube pattern to divide the lens. And you'll notice in the new software now it automatically finds the limbal landmarks as well as presets all of the incisions based on the surgical plan. That all looks good. So we can pretty much go right to high definition OCT scanning. Good. And you'll notice that there's very little moving of any of, of the markers now. Everything is pretty much pre-aligned. A small amount of lens tilt. Good. Not a lot. And that all looks good. Nice smooth cornea, no folds or wrinkles. Good. We're going to do our arcuate incisions. Good. Everything looks good. You're going to see a little bit of a light show now. Here we go. Wonderful. Fantastic. Great job. We have about half a minute to go. You're doing very, very well. Excellent, excellent, excellent. The capsulotomy is completed. We're starting in the posterior aspect of the lens. With the matrix pattern, we're going to cut it in half to create cubes rather than long rectangles. We've finished the matrix pattern for the arcuate incisions and now the primary and secondary incisions. And we're done. You did wonderful. So that was quick. That was quick. So we're going to remove our anterior lens capsule. Hydro dissection. So we have a matrix pattern of cubes in the central 4.8 millimeters of the lens. We've limited it to the 4.8 millimeter area. That's the densest portion of the lens and it allows still excellent visualization of the capsular opening. This is the 45 degree balance tip. What the Centurion system does is it takes fluidics to an entirely new level by using an active uh, fluidic system. So I really have some choices. I can try to utilize more power, and the more power it seems that I use, the more quickly I remove the lens material using power, the less fluid I use. Or I can try to conserve power, keep my CD as low as I want, and I'll use a little bit more fluid, but still less fluid than I would use with you know, my regular uh, FACO units, in my case would be the Infinity Machine. So one of the things we're going to do is just create a little bit of a central trough. And we're going to do sort of a stop and chop. I'm just going to rotate this. I can really do my chop anywhere. And I'm just perpetuating a crack or a chop to the periphery along the lines of the matrix that's already been pre-aligned. Good. And now we can go to quad. Quad link removal. Now the other thing that the matrix pattern does is it's already pre-chopped and pre-divided the lens, so look how quickly the lens material will dissolve at the tip. But look at how the material stays right at the tip and just dissolves right down the tube, or the lumen of this balanced tip. done. 
very efficient. The material stays right at the tip. And I really think because I've sort of pre-chopped the lens, if you will, into this matrix pattern, I'm really not getting a lot of clogging. Our CD was the 3.9, and we only use 30 cc's of fluid. So in general, with higher parameters, 650 plus of vacuum, look straight ahead. 42 to 45 cc's of flow. I had a CDE below four with very, very little fluid in the IMF. Very efficient system, very stable chamber, taking advantage of the fluidics of the Centurion and the lens pre-chop, if you will, with the matrix pattern from the femtosecond laser. I like to use my second instrument with the autosert to stabilize the eye and just assist in delivering the lens right into the capsular bag. Excellent. So I've got my arcuate incisions that have been placed with the Varion unit, my primary and secondary incisions, and taking into account my surgically induced astigmatism, all from the surgical planner. Capsulotomy has been nicely centered, lens is nicely centered, and we are done.